This is an informal reading inventory administration. What is an informal reading inventory, or IRI? An informal reading inventory is a valuable aid in helping teachers determine a student's reading levels and his or her strengths and weaknesses. It usually consists of oral and silent reading passages selected from readers from pre-primer to the eighth grade levels. What are the purposes of an informal reading inventory? An informal reading inventory is probably one of the most valuable diagnostic aids in because of the amount of information it can convey to teachers who know how to use it to its best advantages. An essential function of an IRI is to help the teacher determine the child's levels of reading, independent, instructional, and frustrational levels. It is also used to get an estimate of a student's listening capacity. All are needed to make a proper match between the child and the books he or she reads. The independent reading level is a level at which the child reads successfully without any help. The instructional reading level is the teaching level. And the frustration level is the child reads with many word recognition and comprehension errors. It is the lowest reading level and one to be avoided. We begin the IRI with a graded word list. The graded word lists are often taken from readers and consist of approximately 20 to 25 words from each reader level. They are used to determine at what grade level the student should begin reading the oral passages. The student begins the word list at two levels below his or her present grade level. This is a sample of a graded word list. Pre-primer, primer, first, second, and third grade levels. The child reads instructional and frustration levels. You begin the oral reading passages at the level the child can do the least mistakes. And then you do oral reading comprehension questions and you get a frustration level. You read until the child get somewhere between instructional and frustration levels. Then you begin the silent reading passages of the child's independent instructional and frustration level. Then you begin the listening capacity test at the child's instructional or frustration level, somewhere in between there, and you, that is where you read out loud to the child and then ask the child comprehension questions. You want to get the child independent, instructional, and frustration level. This will help you determine at what level the child reads best, what books the child can 